Please, uh, you have uh, our, sure. our attention now for your uh, presentation. All right, let's share my screen. I'll, I'll talk about how, uh, how we're working on making healthcare accessible to everybody. So uh, I'm CTO, co-founder of Medical Tourism. Um, imagine you have a medical problem, and uh, this medical problem is not treated by your average hospital that you go to every day, right? And what would be your next step? Most probably you're gonna go online and look up who provides, which hospital provides the treatment for your medical problem. Or you can go to medical tours that review, put in the treatment you're looking for and find tens or hundreds of hospitals nearby and abroad which provide these treatments. So this is what we do. But then again, a lot of people, a lot of people like around the world, they don't really know what is medical tourism. So first of all, they, we have to answer the question, what is medical tourism? What is medical tourism in general? Who's a medical tourist or medical traveler? Let's suppose there's Mary and, there's, and she has a friend, John or Yvonne. Uh, Mary has a specific dental problem and she seeks for a dental treatment for her specific dental problem. And she finds out that Yvonne, who's obviously from Moldova, uh, she found out that her friend goes to Moldova in two months or so. And uh, they end up talking and Yuan says to her, like, look, there's, I have a bunch of friends which have excellent clinics in Moldova and one or two of them specialize specifically on your dental issue. Maybe you want to come with me to Moldova. I'll show you around. Maybe, uh, I don't know, like we have wine tasting. We will go to experience some eco tourism and I'll show you around and you'll get all of your treatment done and it's like a fraction of the cost which you would pay in UK. Mary's from UK. So they end up traveling to Moldova. This is how Mary becomes a medical traveler, medical tourist. So there are many reasons why people uh, experience medical tourism, either because it's uh, unavailable in their country, so they cannot have this uh, treatment done in their country, or because it's more affordable, or because uh, People don't want to stay in the line in the queue for three months to have their issue fixed. They would rather just go abroad and have it fixed in a week. So you wonder how many people do this around the world? There are millions of people. There are like last year it was estimated that there was between 20 and 25 million people that traveled abroad specifically to seek medical treatment. All right, so what industry, what is the industry looking like? The industry is amounted to be like 75 to over 80 billion dollars. It's huge industry. Uh, there are cities in countries which have over 500 medical facilities which focus specifically to cater to medical travelers. They have uh, an all the economy of the city evolves around it. There are translators, legal workers, there are different consultants, facilitators. Also, there are countries which have national strategies focusing on evolving medical tourism, like Thailand, India, Singapore, Turkey. And uh, there are continents where traveling abroad for medical treatments is the norm. People do it every year. And uh, for some medical treatments, they don't even consider doing them in their, within their borders. They instantly go abroad. So even the, though the industry is pretty big, and there are millions of people doing it. Of course, like any other industry, there are still problems, problems on both ends. So patients, patients' problems are pretty obvious. They don't always know where to go. Uh, usually, like Mary's case, she would ask you on for, for a tip, for a, a recommendation. Then there are others that go just to the hotel in the country that they are know are famous for specific treatments, and they would ask a receptionist. They don't really have a really clear way how to compare the clinics and their quality of treatments. Uh, also, they don't know whether if they will go to a specific country, if the treatment will be affordable for them. Some treatments have hidden costs, so they don't know if they will go and pay X sum of money that this is all the money they're going to pay for. Maybe there are going to be hidden costs in the end. And uh, one of the basic things that uh, we expect is just to get in touch with the clinic might not always be uh, so simple. So some countries uh, have different, I mean, if you're going to go abroad, they speak different language most, uh, mo mostly. 
and uh, also uh, the industry is pretty old, so they use phone, phone, uh, simple phone, uh, landline phones, and it's pretty complicated to. It's, it costs money to call abroad for just a consultation or to see if they're doing the treatment. So these are problems of the patients. Then the clinics and hospitals that cater uh, to international uh, travelers, they also have their own problems, like uh, travel agencies, medical travel agencies, which uh, 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 which basically give these patients to these clinics. Uh, they also get a lot of cut, a big percentage, for referencing them, the patients. And the, the source of the patients is not always stable. It's unreliable. You can get 10 patients one, one week and zero or one patient the next one, but you still have the, to pay all the personnel and all the facility and stuff like this. Then it's difficult to reach out to patients online because not all tools are specialized on, uh, for the patients. They are just, uh, there are a lot of tools are pretty generic and they're not focused on medical patients. So uh, this also serves a problem. Then there's the long, conversation before the treatment that uh, clinics have to invest like hours in discussing a patient's problem and only maybe then they will know whether this is a, a prospect patient will become their patient or no. And uh, for medical domain, ads and marketing is pretty expensive. So because it's a very high, uh, very expensive domain to be in. So this is where we come in. We're, we're helping patients to connect to these medical providers. We help them to find the right treatment, to compare the treatments. We offer all the contact information of this hospital so they can easily get in touch with them. And uh, basically our platform empowers both sides. It empowers patients. We give them voice so they can uh, view, they can voice their uh, review bad or good of our given clinic or treatment. They have a community where they can interact, talk to facilitators and doctors and we offer them a choice, so we are not locking them into an exclusive network of 10 providers. We are giving them all the providers. Every, all, any provider can be listed on our platform, and they can compare treatments of all these providers of all the countries. And uh, we offer them safety, so we can filter out the bad players through, through these reviews and through communication with the patients, and they can uh, find only the safe options to go with. On the other side, the clinics and hospitals, they also, uh, we empower them to understand their previous patients or current patients by reading the reviews and being, being able to reply to them, to communicate with their patients. We offer them an easy way to connect with them. So all, this, all the information, emails, website, everything is here so they can get in touch with them easy. We simplify their work by uh, giving them, uh, explaining them what is the behavior of the patient, what, what are patients looking for, how can they restructure maybe their information about themselves. We also promote, uh, we help to optimize their digital presence online uh, for search engine optimization purposes and various other stuff. So your average doctor that does uh, has a small clinic of two people and he's focusing mainly on uh, dental surgeries, he doesn't have to know what is Google Ads and digital marketing and all this stuff. He can focus only on his job. And uh, we help them create meaningful relationships with patients. So they, we get interviews from this uh, representatives from the clinic where they explain potential patients, what they can look for in this country, what treatments they can look for, how will it evolve and stuff like this. And we're doing our best to make all these tools affordable so they don't have to spend extra money because in the end, all the money the clinic will spend on getting a patient will be transferred to the patient and the patient will be ending up paying all this money. So we want to save the uh, expenses so every, all, both sides benefit. The way we do it is uh, initially we started with an empty platform, then we uh, gathered some hundreds of lists and thousands of lists of clinics and hospitals and wellness centers. Then we gathered, uh, started to work with some early adopters and polish the platform according to their needs. So we have done a bunch of redesigns since then. Uh, we have collected reviews, we have wrote a bunch of articles, we worked on SEO. And uh, 2019, we prepared uh, already uh, premium accounts where we were starting to think about how to monetize. And we were in 2020, we started the monetization of the platform itself. 
So by, by the end, we have 4,000 clinics online, 108 uh, countries. We have created uh, ability for clinics to be able to publish their treatment, info, treatment information packages. Thus, we created the biggest marketplace of treatment packages, over 300 treatment packages we have, and uh, so on. So everything was going good, and then, and then 2020, we started sales, and COVID happened, right? So what does it mean? It means borders closed, people cannot travel abroad. That means no, no tourism and no medical tourism. Uh, clinics have to be closed. Some have reduced their workflow. Uh, one of the reasons was because they couldn't digitize their, uh, their workflow. Uh, and uh, this is why they were considering to close. So a lot of clinics actually closed. On the same side, patients can't travel abroad. They cannot get treatment in their own country. And the only thing that they can do is plan for future trips. They have the medical issues still with them. So they're helping, they're, they're trying to focus on future, how they can plan the future trips. So uh, this is why we have basically pivoted a little bit of our platform. So we have moved from finding, uh, helping patients find the treatment and the review and, and evaluate the clinics and keep patients informed to help them get in touch with the clinic, help them get a consultation online, digital, or in person, and help them plan for this future trip that they're wanting to go to. So this is how we pivoted from uh, offering the information to offering interactions. How do we do it? So our plan is to use four steps. First step, first step is the appointment tools where they can schedule appointments with the clinic and clinics can get all these patients without any intermediaries. Second is in implement, basically extend the appointment system to have digital uh, consultation, video and audio. And the third step is live chat, basically allowing clinics to interact uh, in the written form with patients. And then the last step is to package all of these three things together and offer clinics to install them on their WordPress or Drupal website or whatever that they have. So they can, even without med medical tourism, they can profit from all of these tools on their own website. We have participated, and I don't know if you know this, EU versus virus hackathon. There are like thousands of participants. And we have talked to like 15, 20 mentors. Some of them were from medical tourism industry. They were super excited that somebody's doing something for a medical tourism industry because it used to be such a huge industry. Now it's super, it's like that paralyzed by this COVID-19 issue. And uh, yeah, so they were very excited to know that we were working on it. We got a good validation from the hackathon. So uh, this is pretty much it. If you can, if you want to help us in any way, uh, you could just go to our website, leave a review for any medical treatment that you have experienced lately, see if the hospital is there and leave them good or bad treatment review. And then uh, there's a link, medical tourism slash rocket, or you can scan this QR code. Uh, it's a super small form, a feedback form about our platform, about what we want to change. It has only two questions. So it would help us enormously so that we know that we are pivoting in the right way and that we actually will help this way healthcare accessible to everybody. Yeah, thank you.